Hello everyone, Miss Antuna here. So excited to have you guys back. Uh, turns out we are still working on our patterns this week, but I'm excited because today we are going to do a special heart, uh, including some lines and some colors, and I think we're going to have a lot of fun. So here we go. So I'm going to start with my markers like usual. Again, you can use any anything that you would like today, but the marker seems to help my friends from home see how I'm drawing. So I'm going to start off with the big one today, and I think you guys are going to like it. So here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a big heart right in the middle of my paper. So if this is my big paper, I'm going to do it, boom, right in the middle. So I'm going to start by making one line going up, around, and down. And then I'm going to start on the other side, up, around, and down. As you can see, my heart's not perfect. It's pretty good. So I just want you guys to practice. Heart shapes are hard, but we can't get better unless we try. So try your best and start by making your heart right in the middle and really big. Now the next part that we're going to do is we're going to create diagonal lines. Now if you have a ruler at home, that's great. If you don't, like me, that is totally fine. We're going to try to make these lines all by ourselves because we're big boys and girls. So I'm going to start at the top corner and I'd like you to try to start with me. We're going to make diagonal lines with at least a two finger space in between every line to go from here to there. So this is what I mean. So I'm going to start at my corner, right? We'll start here, diagonal. So it's going up and then down, and it's kind of making almost the first step for a fix it max, a letter X. Now I'm going to use some space, do some more. Move some space, do some more. Do some space. Now you can see I messed up on that one, but I'm keep going because that's what we do. Perfect. Awesome. So with that, you're probably like, Miss Antuna, I'm a little confused. Where'd my heart go? That's okay. One of the tricks that I like to do when I do pictures like this is I go back to my heart and I make the line a little thicker. So just trace on the same line that we used and just make it a little darker. We go up this way. Perfect. Awesome. Excellent. All right. So take a couple seconds, work on your diagonal lines, darken your heart, take your time, try your best. You can always pause me and rewind me if you're confused um, and need a little bit more help and just want to hear those instructions again, totally fine. But I'm going to pause here to give you guys a few to try and work on these lines and darkening that heart. All right, here we go. So the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna jump right into the middle of our heart. Now, as you can see, we have different lines here, right? And we're going to try and put some colors and some lines in here to show you how we can create a pattern. Now, we used lines and stuff before. Today, I'm actually going to use a mixture of lines and shapes. So the first shape that I want to use is a circle. It's my favorite. So I'm going to do, I'm going to start over here and I'm going to do some polka dots. I love some polka dots. 
Now for it to be a pattern, I can't have polka dots in the next one, right? So this line and this little bit up here, it's gonna stay blank and I'm gonna skip over to this next line. Let's add some more. Perfect. Now, again, I'm gonna skip and go to the next line. Perfect. Now with this one, I'm going to use a special line that we um, don't use often. It's a dotted line, which is pretty much you making little lines like this. If I take my handy dandy scrapbook, and it almost looks like the line that goes down the middle of the road right? Or the line that helps you to trace. So I'm going to start up here because this is all connected and I'm going to make some dotted lines. Now, if you say, Miss Antuna, I like myself some wavy lines or I like diagonal lines, do whatever lines you like. You don't have to do circles. You can do squares or triangles if you want to be more adventurous. Do whatever you want because you are an artist. So I'm gonna keep going over here with my dotted line. Perfect. So as you can see, I only did my patterns inside my heart and I'm gonna leave the outside blank so that this heart pops out. It's gonna look super fun and almost like an optical illusion. So if you guys don't have colors, we'll pause right here. You made a great pattern using lines and shapes. If you want to see how I'm going to draw my heart, I think you guys would be really excited. Come and join me for part two, and I'm going to start coloring. Um, I am going to use all different colors, so it kind of looks a little crazy, but remember our pattern is here with our shapes and our lines, and you're going to love it. So I'll see you in a second. Welcome back, sunshines. We are gonna get started today on coloring our heart. Now, in the last part one video, uh, I showed you how to create your heart in the middle, make some cool lines and some cool patterns inside. This video, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to color that awesome heart and how you have, can have some ideas on how you wanna color your heart. So let's get started. I think we're gonna have some fun. did that come out so like I said I was gonna use a lot of colors I tried to throw in all the colors of the rainbow in there and I think it came out pretty awesome so I'm so proud of you guys you guys did great with coloring don't forget click on that attendance link so I know that you guys did your your artwork today again first name last name and if you decided to do art today. If you say no, that's okay. But if you say yes, I'm super pumped. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you're enjoying these patterns and I will see you guys tomorrow.